Alright, well, now we go find, uh, Strelok's, uh, hiding place. In this, uh... Oh, looks like, uh, I'm not the only one here. Ah, that's, a, that's an upgraded shotgun, too. He's got an FN... I have the exact same weapon. He's also got some full metal. Does that actually take the full metal jacket rounds? Yes, it does. That's right. Forgot about that. I was planning on taking it afterwards. Oh, that's a, that counted as a camp elimination. But we are actually here for other nefarious purposes. Because I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go see Doctor in my hiding place. So that, that's why we are here. We're not here for fun, although this is fun. I'm, not, I'm knifing by accident. What is this upgrade it does? Uh, greatly increases the accuracy when firing slugs or darts. That's kind of nice. Where are you? He's definitely not dead. I thought I was fucking seeing things. What the fuck? He was hiding there. Oh, that's right. I didn't take him out yet. I left him in here. Oh my god. Fuck. And... What? Hey, Strela. Strela, come on, man. Wake up. Better. You had me worried. What the hell are you doing, man? Have you lost your memory or something? You were the one who suggested that we take this precaution. Uh, at least you're at least you are still alive. Look, Straylock, we've got no time, so I need you to listen to me. Everything you have said about the monolith is true. All of it. It's just an illusion manufactured in a lab next to the sarcophagus. And nobody, nobody who reached the monolith has ever come back. It looks like they have died there. But anyway, while you were away, I dug up some more info. And basically, there is a decoder to open the door which leads to the monolith controls. This decoder is hidden in a stash impregnant. I am going to give you the coordinates of this stash, and I'm giving you the key to open it. I want you to take the decoder, and I want you to find the door in the sarcophagus. And then you... well, you'll know what to do. But it seems that this is the only way of uncovering the zone's real secret. This is the one you have been trying to work out, Strelok. Okay, so there's still something around here, but uh, you guys have just figured it out. Um, I am Strelok. That's the plot twist of this game. So, the fact that I saw the mission to kill, find and kill Strelok is wrong. Because that's who I am. So that's the, the major plot twist of this game. Controller is like on another floor. We're not gonna deal with him though. He's on the floor above me. You know, it's times, you know, the AI is either, you know, really fucking stupid, but that it's occasionally they do something really smart and you don't expect it at all. Cause it's completely like, 
not what the game does, and it gets really freaky, you know? It's it's actually it's an amazing game, what can I say? I've said it many times already. But you know, might as well say it a thousand times more. Alright, let's let's get back out of here. And you know what? Uh, oh. Oh, this guy has a shotgun. He can even fire the pellet rounds. I don't really know what those do. Alright, well, let's head out. Alright, I'm back out, and now we're heading to, uh... We're going back to the 100 rounds bar. Is this better than the Saga? Because it seems really nice. Although it weighs a lot. I need more shotguns in my life. How much ammo do I actually have in this thing? I can't really check it, can I? Outfit repair kit? Don't mind if I do. And some pie. Don't mind if I do. I mean, I, I didn't really loot a lot of these other corpses when I was here the last time. Oh, whatever. Oh, uh, but I, I can't- it's jammed, but I have no ammunition for it, actually. Well, whatever. Just put the uh, other rifle back on. We're heading back to the Hunter Rods bar, so... You know what, maybe I'll just go buy some buckshot rounds or something. This one, though, is supposed to be even more accurate with, uh... Uh... Slugs or darts, you know, so... You know, I wish I could have some of that. You know, I want to talk a little bit, though, about... What just happened with the Bloodsucker and stuff like that. And kind of the nature of the whole scare cam... Uh, LPs and stuff, because, you know... I, I, I looked back on it, and this is a loading screen, so let me just finish my thought later. Alright, anyway, so on the subject of that, um... I think I got some people to kill here first. Fuck, there's always bandits here! Every day of the week, there's bandits. Uh, so anyways, you know, I was looking back at it, and I was basically worried, like, I'm, I, I'm not trying to, you know, hype up the parts, but in, a, in an unscripted game that isn't really, like, it, it is actually pretty freaky, you know, at, at least in my opinion. Uh, and, like, I don't play games like Amnesia or whatever. Uh, I, I play, you know, a lot of games like this, like shooters, and, you know, a little bit of, of a really smart part by the AI is what I enjoy, you know? Not really... Like, you know, you look at a game like Amnesia and you're running around with, like, a... Um, a lantern or whatever, and then you watch people who, who do stuff like that. And then, like, you know, then they actually see, like, the whatever the main enemy is in that game. I don't know, I didn't play it, really. Uh, just seen some of the worst of the worst in terms of scare cam LPs and stuff. And they're like, they see, they see what's, you know, they, they basically see what the enemy is at this point. I know I'm going this way, by the way, there's a reason for it. At least they see what it is, but then they're still screaming about it, right? You know, it's like, like, it might just going, oh, it's a controller! Ah! Ah! ah. No, no. It's just like, it's, you know, it's kind of like, it's like, oh, oh shit, basically. Kind of a moment. And I like that. And I, as I said, I'm not fucking trying to cheese this up for you guys. I mean, we don't really go buy those kinds of moments anyways, like... Just kind of an occasional thing that we get. And anyways, the reason we're going back here is because I want to. I actually decided I want to get those rounds that I left over here. I'm being shot at though. I know, not, not close enough though. Delicious, delicious rounds. There we go. And now, so that I can have this in my my weapon slot because these this uses the full metal jacket rounds. And I'm gonna just run. I'm gonna run until they can't get me anymore. And honestly, uh, endurance is not a problem anymore. I don't even need these fucking energy drinks anymore. As long as I have those. Although, if there's anything electric, static, shocking, or whatever, I'm gonna get fucking wrecked by it. Pretty nice, huh? Uh, I'd say it's pretty good. Now, I'm just trying to iterate. There's a big difference between... Like, the scary parts I do. 
At least I'd like to hope so. I don't know, as I said, it's not, it's not scary, really. It's just kind of like an oh my gosh moment, you know? Instead of like screaming like a little girl all the time. Because, as I said, it, it's more it's more for me the surprise of what happened than just like, oh my god, the game that's centered around the one fucking enemy that, that you're supposed to hide from is appearing. Time to scream a bunch of times. I don't know. You know what? You, you, you give me your feedback or whatever. I'm fu no, no, fuck it. I'm just I'm playing games the way I like. <laughs> that's it. Alright, well, we're heading back to... The good old place full of the the guys that do the stuff. Oh, okay, good. I didn't get hit by that. I was, I was just checking again what kind of ammo this uses. It does use full metal jacket. Eh. I think there was something to do with the ammo I had. Oh, this is PBI. PBI's round. So I need a Walter PP9 to be able to use it effectively. Oh well, anyways. Um, so yeah, it could be, be a pretty freaky game. Ow, fuck. He like blocked me. That was pretty lame. Hey guys, shoot these uh, dogs for me, please. Oh no, they just decide not to, not to do a thing. Alright, well now that we're back here, safe and sound at home. Uh, we are going to head to the get out of here stalker guy. Get out of here stalker. Get out of here stalker. <laughs> now, now we've done that. Can, is there anything else I can do here? Or am I the champion of the arena? Okay, I'm already a pro. Good job. I, I've already known that for a while. I've known that all my life that I'm a pro. Uh, but, okay, so we head back down here. Because we need to do some comparisons of weapons. I said come in. All right, so we head over here, and so I don't actually have the saga anymore. Huh. Interesting. I don't even have like slug rounds or anything. Yeah, so the cobra is not particularly useful for me at all, actually. That was a bad raid. Yeah, we're not gonna bother carrying that with us. I don't. I don't even know if we should bring the NATO gun with us. I guess that's got something interesting for I would like. An, let's see if this guy has any good guns. My information might well be of use to you. I want to know something. What do you know about Strzok? Experienced stalker used to work in the northern exits of the zone. There, there are rumors they took his uh, his uh, root brain to send his zone. Now here's something interesting. The wish granter. You want to know about? You guys probably want to know about this. Interesting question, I wish I knew the answer. I can tell you a legend about the Granter, uh, but you have to make up your own mind how much truth there is to it. Okay. Oh, well, the legend is about the monolith, which is what you heard about before, which caused the zone to appear, which may be what caused the zone to appear. When the uh, when the zone exploded in 2006, they evacuated people ne living near it, and the zone itself was cordoned off by the army. Everyone was panicking, no one knew what was going on. The zone was expanding, field labs couldn't do anything. Lots of people died there. Everyone was afraid of the radiation could affect half of Europe. Yeah. After a few years passed, some reckless guys like you appeared. They call themselves stalkers. They sneak past the army, uh, believing that there are things in the zone that could make them rich. Bit by bit, they take out weird things, artifacts, and eventually there turned out to be a race for them. Scientists went after them like crazy. They paid fantastic money just for one trinket uh, back then, but not for not not like now. After a while, the first tales and legends about what's deep inside the zone by the tumbled down <laughs> nuclear power plant started to crumble. Uh, it was also th then when one of the veterans told us a story about the monolith that allegedly grants your wishes. So that was what um, the that was what doctor was telling us about, and he says it's an illusion. Um, you should see you should have seen the history. Experienced level-headed men trying to break through the center. Everyone wanted something from the monolith, and we got some morbid details about the first stalker that made it to the monolith. Okay, tell us some more. When the zone uh, uh, just appeared, many people were trapped inside and cut off from the outside world. Many of them died pretty quickly, but there were a few lucky survivors that tried to do something about it. Uh, one of the survivors found himself by the station and noticed something strange, a strange light inside. Uh, with no way back, he decided to get closer. So the broken roof of the sarcophagus and light coming through it. He climbed the wall and looked inside. Among the debris of metal and molten concrete, there lay a massive black rock. It was the monolith. 
The stalker managed to shake off the spell and realized That's that he had climbed very close to the sarcophagus, which was highly radioactive. Uh, he, he was scared to death, but through the fear, he could sense the monolith calling to him. The monolith called to him, and he, he came to see strange, unbelievable things about the monolith inside his head. Cool. Alright. I don't know if what's true in this story, but uh, what's not but the point is the guy made a wish which came true and the zone grew five ki uh, grew by five kilometers. It seems that the zone gobbles up more land for every wish has granted, but it ain't gonna stop hot shots like you. Uh, they're gonna keep breaking in with their precious, wi wi precious wishes. All right. Um, a man called uh, Fang, he spoke with a lisp, so this is who Fang is. He's a bit weird, that's for sure. He talked to himself and stuff, it seemed okay. And Ghost was one of Strelok's men. He, uh, they say he can sneak in anywhere without being noticed. Uh, he was a leader of some crazy group. What was his name? Uh, Final Day. That's the one. Uh, so Ghost is doing some job for scientists, but unfortunately he's dead now, so it's actually not what he's doing. Uh, full Metal. Yeah, we, can, we don't have. We can't use that one. I think this is another machine gun one. Black Raven. Black Raven. Used, used by the, the, the Russian police, apparently. You could put a grenade launcher on this? Really? Oh, that is fucking badass. Alright. Uh, this... Can you just use the full metal jacket runs? No, they're the PBIs, once again. I need, I need the MP5, and I think I dropped it way, way earlier. Life is bad enough. Yeah, I know life is pretty bad. Life is shit. And the damage of this weapon is much higher, but the... The saga has better, uh... I don't know. Better stuff. Alright, let's go... Let's go buy some buckshot rounds and some dart rounds. Some med kits, some that. Now we have actually a weapon. Which means I can actually now... Let's go buy some of these nano rounds. Let's run around with a shotgun and, uh... And this... The spaz. Spaz 12. That sounds pretty fun. Does that sound fun, guys? I wasn't asking you! No. Just kidding. I, I, your opinion matters to me. Wow, what the fuck is all this ammo? You know, fuck these sniper rounds. The NATO rounds are so expensive. Wow. Well, I might as well take these, actually. The NATO rounds are really, really... Really, Let's really expensive. Like okay, what kind of uh, rounds does this use? The 5.62. And we have... How many 5.62 rounds? A lot. Alright. We will take these with us then. And we will put away all these other things that we're not using. I mean, we don't need that. No, oh, I want this one. So we're actually going to now run around with a sniper, a shotgun, and a pistol. Unfortunately, I, I, I want that, that other weapon, the, the Mosin or whatever. I really want that. Oh no, this could use the PBIs. Kick fucking ass! I didn't realize that, okay. Well, let's get rid of most of this. Holy crap, I have a lot of this. Okay. Uh, just, yeah, that's, that's a good amount of rounds. We'll, we'll get rid of that guy. And we're gonna also repair the, the Mosin. And we gotta get rid of that, these rounds here too. My information might well be of use to you. Full, I don't really need the full metal jacket rounds here anymore. That's for the other weapon. I feel, I feel like I should carry around just some, some more of that. And I don't need that. I think we're good otherwise. We don't have any grenade launcher anymore. But we don't need that. We got also Kazakh's vodka. Put that in here. Alright. I'm gonna repair weapons. Ah, just like new. Okay. Alright, gonna repair and also fix my suit. Alright, also repair this thing too. Okay. And we just got everything repaired. Now we're running around with the Mosin. Pretty much the kind of gameplay that you expect from me. So, now that we're done. We will head to 
up north again, and we're going to find the cook in the freedom base. Now, I remember I was told very specifically to ignore the soldiers that are launching raids. So, you know, just keep that in mind while we go there. I'm so glad I have a, 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 a spaz. It's not, it's, it's not the saga, but you know what? It's different, you know? Now, this weapon is better at dealing with uh, uh, the slugs and stuff, but we really can't do that, can we, now? What the fuck? Oh, God. What? Okay, how in a million years I... W this is normally a safe place, and then I turn around the corner, and then I'm, I'm killed by bandits or whatever. You know what sucks? When I did all the, my stuff in the stores, and I got killed here. I've never been killed in this place. And they're not here this time, so... This is the game's way of saying, fuck you, go rebuy all the stuff and do all your, sort your, your inventory again. Because honestly, I, I, I w didn't really expect that, to be honest. I didn't know they could come in here at all, because it's always been a safe place here. Alright, and I think we're, yeah, we're almost to the end here. Like, what? All the humanoids are always good here. And then there's like bandits for freedom or some shit attacking all the time. Alright. Alright, well, uh, let's see. We're gonna head to find the cook. And there's, I don't know what the fuck this is. Um, enhanced sniper for Enhanced for sniper fire. Fuck that, we're going there. Freedom can wait. Oh god. Nobody stands between my cloud and his snipers. Okay, so now we're on Vintage Stalker. This is the Stalker of the uh, 80s. I feel I need a med kit. So am I sp- Oh, there's a fucking- Alright. I don't think anybody's coming. I take that back. There's like two of them here. Can't see them. Uh, there's one. My positioning makes it really hard for them to get to me. But the fact that they're invisible does not help. I'm, I'm trying to also use, like, where I'm hearing them from. I see them for a second, and then I don't see them anymore. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, he gave up on me. Oh, we're almost to where the guy is. What are we supposed to do to him? Uh, quite... It's an enhanced sniper. Oh, I'm interested in such a gun. Okay. Well, he wants their gun. Oh god, he's fucking firing right through the fucking tree. Have a nice lantern there. Alright, trying to bring in the mows in, except not. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, not the electrostatic anomalies. Let's go over here.
Got a bad rifle. I'll say that much. It is an actual bolt rifle, uh, bolt rifle kind of gun. Right up my alley. All right. Well, let's uh, let's head in. Oh, you got a, a Fort 12. Some of these rounds. I, I'm going to take ammo that is actually pertinent to me. Like, I'm actually now familiar enough with the game that uh, I know what I should be taking. We can go to sleep here. There was another guy killed somewhere. I'm trying to figure out where I killed him. Actually, why, why am I trying to do that? I have it on the map. It's like, right here. That's where he is. And a grenade. Because grenades are now, like, I have to actually manually throw them now. I don't have a weapon with a grenade launcher. Alright. What, what item is this? It's a, a modified LR 300 ML weapon. Capable of firing single fired shots. Okay, what does it use? 5.56. It's not bad. It uses the 556 rounds, so. I mean, it doesn't do a crazy amount of damage. But it's still kind of nice. Alright, let's go. Uh, well, you know, actually, I think we're going to end it off there, so. Uh, I don't know. So, uh, hope you're enjoying, and uh, see you next time, guys. Bye. Oh, I can't take out the lights.